My name is Ursula Bentin Lai. I'm a fertility specialist at the Danish Fertility Clinic in Copenhagen. I want to inform you about IVF treatment. We perform IVF if you have problems with your tubes, if your partner has reduced semen quality, or if you haven't become pregnant with insemination treatment. For IVF, you will need a follicle stimulation, and our aim is 10 to 12 mature follicles. During the stimulation, you will need several ultrasound scans. And of course, you can have these ultrasound scans at your gynecologist at home. We need information regarding the number and the size of the follicles. Once the follicles have reached the correct size, you will take an injection for ovulation induction. And 36 hours later, you will come to our clinic in Copenhagen for follicle aspiration. Before we start with the follicle aspiration, we will give you an intravenous painkiller. Furthermore, we will apply a local anesthesia in the region of the cervix, so you won't feel much pain during the aspiration procedure that lasts 5 to 10 minutes. Then we perform a vaginal ultrasound scan, and on the scanner is a small tube through which we can put the needle. The needle goes right through the vaginal wall into the ovary, where we aspirate the fluid from all follicles on both sides. The fluid goes into the lab next door where the embryologist identifies the oocytes and performs fertilization some hours later. Then all oocytes are cultured in the embryoscope. The embryoscope enables us to see exactly when fertilization takes place, when the embryo starts to cleave and whether the cleavages are normal. Two to five days after the aspiration, you come back to embryo transfer. The embryo is aspirated into a small catheter that goes right through the cervix into the uterine cavity where the embryo is placed. IVF treatment is much more efficient than insemination treatment because we know that the oocyte has become fertilized and that the embryo has cleaved normally. However, there are also more complications associated with this treatment. During the follicle aspiration, there is always a risk of bleeding and infection. The embryo can also implant outside the uterine cavity. The serious complication associated with the IVF treatment is the ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, where fluid can accumulate in the abdomen. In rare cases, the fluid accumulation is so severe that you need to be hospitalized. And in this case, you also need a thrombosis prophylaxis. Two weeks after the embryo transfer, you will need a pregnancy test. And if the pregnancy test is positive, you will need a pregnancy scan, where we hopefully can see a living fetus.